Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're dealing with an issue with a desktop computer that goes straight into the BIOS setup screen when it's powered on. This is the first and most frustrating clue. Our initial suspicion is usually an issue with the boot drive or specifically a corrupted boot sector. Before we assume the worst, we must check the BIOS to ensure the hard drive is even recognized by the motherboard. We checked the BIOS settings. The drive was actually disabled, so we enabled it and tried to boot the PC again. The same frustrating results. This means the hardware is visible, but likely not bootable. To confirm it was a hard drive issue and not a motherboard BIOS issue, we inserted one of our known good boot drives. It booted up Windows perfectly. This confirmed the fault was 100% with the customer's drive. The drive needed to be repaired before it could be used. So before attempting any repairs on the client's drive, we made a clone from their SSD to an HDD to prevent data loss. We ran the Windows repair after cloning the drive, but upon putting the drive back, the issue persisted. It still booted straight to the BIOS. We needed a deeper fix. Our next option was to run a dedicated boot repair using a powerful tool like Aesius Partition Master. Still, the computer booted to the BIOS. However, this time I knew we were a lot closer to getting this issue resolved. Despite these advanced repairs, the computer continued to boot to the BIOS. Now you might be wondering, why would we go through all this trouble repairing the drive when we could just reset the PC? Our goal is always to try and save our clients valuable data first. A full clean install or reset is our absolute last resort, only if all repair attempts fail. One thing we noticed that was so crucial was that the BIOS date was set to October 20th, 2023. This was a major red flag. An incorrect date means the CMOS battery was dead. This battery keeps the BIOS settings, like the correct boot order, saved when the PC is off. A dead battery reset the settings, continually disabling the boot drive from the sequence. Our next step was an obvious one. Replace the CMOS battery. We did exactly that and re-enabled the boot drive like we did the first time and was now able to boot to the OS. Success. The computer logged into Windows, but with a temporary profile and critically, the keyboard, both external and on screen, did not work. This pointed to deep OS corruption. The level of corruption was too severe. We couldn't perform a PC reset. The only reliable option left to restore the machine's full functionality was a full clean install of the operating system. What you see here is part of the real journey. At First Choice PC Fix, some repairs take twists and turns, but we're with you every step of the way. Thanks for watching and see you at the next repair.